Welcome back. We can also add in images to our WordPress website. We can do that by adding in a block. So if we go inside of this block, what we can do is we can either click in here to add an image if the block is empty, or we can just click the button and we can choose the image block to add in. That's going to give us an interface where we can make choices about where we want to add in our block from. We can upload that image from our hard drive. We can choose from images already in our media library, or we can insert that image from a URL. In this case, we're going to choose an image already in our media library. So we're going to click this button. WordPress is then going to look for all of the images that we have already uploaded through posts and or pages. And we can then make that image available in the one that we are working with. Of course, you'll then write in any metadata that's going to be relevant. You'll click select. And you'll see that image then become part of your WordPress site. You then have the ability to manipulate how text is going to appear with that image. You can choose to line the image to the left. You can choose to align it in the center, or you can choose it with a wide width. You can choose full width. And of course, we can change out the image by clicking this image pencil. Now the image block has properties available to it that we can change. For example, we can change the image size to a thumbnail size. And you'll see that the image becomes smaller. We can choose to have it become a medium size. And every time you do that, just as it does in the older version of WordPress, you'll see the width and the height of the actual image as you change it. And of course, you can also do this by percentage. Just as was the case with the old version, we can link to a certain URL. And we can write that URL in this area. The image then becomes part of our WordPress site. And of course, we can then begin to move that image where we want it to be, whether we want it to be between a post, we want it to be to the left, we want it to be on the side of a post. If we don't like the appearance, we can go backwards. We can then continue to move the image up. And we can continue to test the layout using our image block along with our text block. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.